the 60, but the 60 minute story was not true. Will you now end right. your threat to place a hold on the president's nominees? Uh, no, my, my request has been going on for a year to talk to the five survivors of the State Department. I never asked for the British contractor. I didn't know he existed. We've written one letter to the President, myself, Kelly Yott, and John McCain, two to Secretary Kerry. On the 24th of September, we said we would like to interview the survivors, the five State Department officials who have been interviewed by the administration but not by Congress. The 60-minute story says that the attack on the compound was not a protest but a pre-planned Al-Qaeda attack that you could see coming for months. And people who said that were not the British contractor. I sure, want to ask the survivors who've never been interviewed by the Congress, please let me just finish here. Did you report a protest? Did you report, did you ever indicate there was a protest? Did you say this was a terrorist attack from the beginning? When you were interviewed, interviewed by the FBI four days later, did you ever mention a protest? If the survivors, Candy, never said there was a protest, where did the story come from? And did the survivors, would they tell me if I asked them, had a chance to, was there inadequate security in your mind? Could you see Al-Qaeda build up in Benghazi? Did you tell anybody about the threat of Al-Qaeda? Sure. And how Senator, did they respond? Okay, to if me, I that's could, the essence of what I'm trying to get